Hi everyone and welcome along to uh, this UCAT LVSA TV crossover hybrid. Um, I'm Colm Cronin from the Adventures in Advising podcast and I'm delighted to be joined by two fantastic individuals from Maastricht University whose names I will likely butcher with my Irish accent. Um, so I will allow them to introduce themselves in a minute but Iris and Ari, welcome. Thank you for joining me today. Thank you for having us. So Iris, we might start start with you for, for viewers. Can you tell us a, a little bit about yourself and, and what it is that uh, you do at Maastricht University? Yeah, my name is Iris Burks. Uh, I'm the coordinator of academic and student advising at Maastricht University campus Venlo. We have a, a small campus in Venlo. Uh, and I've been involved in the development of this uh, workshop of uh, and, and the conference itself. And in normal days, uh, when uh, we get to go on campus, I tend to go with my outside with, uh, with my students quite a lot. Uh, and we do uh, these team based, uh, these, these teamwork uh, workshops. Um, and that's uh, why we would like other advisors to taste this a little bit as well. Very good. And Ari, can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Yeah, I'm uh, Ari van der Lucht. I'm a teaching animal from the Faculty of Psychology and Neuroscience. I'm also a big fan of experiential learning. My first experience with that was actually in the UK. I was trained at Exeter University for uh, in a, a trained the tutor training by uh, guys from BP Yamoko. That was my first connection to experiential learning, and I've been using it ever since in my teaching. I think it's uh, it's a very powerful method. And uh, Iris and I were both being trained by the same local company who are real experts in reading groups of people. Uh, but the funny thing is I, that I, I also really like the connection to advising because uh, 10 years ago, uh, I actually participated in a, in, a, in a workshop by the famous Charlie from Nakata, uh, who taught me a very important lesson that uh, teaching is advising and that advising is teaching. And I've never forgotten about that important lesson. So I'm very happy to join the uh, the LVSA and uh, UCAT crowd next week. Very good. Well, delighted to, to welcome you. And uh, I will be speaking to, to Charlie uh, at some point over the next few days. So I'll definitely uh, pass along that little uh, anecdote to him. But I suppose, um, Iris, maybe you could tell me a bit more about the, the team building sessions that are going to be taking place. Yeah, so uh, normally, like I said, we would uh, be stepping outside, we would uh, put our boots on and uh, dig them deep into the mud. Uh, unfortunately, that's not possible uh, at the moment. So we try to recreate this uh, this experience in a, in a virtual setting um, and let the participants experience as much as possible uh, what we would do with our participants, while at the same time also telling them a little bit about the theory behind what we're doing uh, and to take them along and why we uh, use this experiential learning method um, and why we feel that in advising or teaching, um, these are, are useful techniques. Very good. Um, and Ari, what, so if I'm I'm a conference attendee. Um, I am. I'm hearing about this for for the first time. In, intrigue me. Get 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 me get me excited about about participating in this. Well, if you ever want to get to know yourself at a at a at a different level, then you have to come to our workshop because we will make things real that you will have never experienced in that full reality before because we will make you zoom in on aspects of how you are in a group of people that will learn you a bit more not just about yourself but also about the people around you and i think it's a crucial skill for learning together and of course that's what maastricht university is kind of famous for that we have this collaborative approach to to learning very good. I, I think that's definitely the case. Certainly anyone I have met from the university, that that is certainly their, their approach. And Iris, for, for anyone else, for anyone watching this, you know, who who's wondering about like, you know, what, what else they can look forward to um, at, at the, the conference or how can they find out more about, uh, you know, what will be going on? Um, where, where can they go to get that information? 
Uh, they can have a look in the program booklet or on the website. Uh, there's a short description on the different workshops. They can also register for this session because this is one of the uh, pre-register sessions. Uh, you have to let us know in advance that you want to participate uh, simply because we uh, we want to keep this a little bit intimate and, and uh, be able to read the group, read the, the floor um, as we go along, because that is, it's, yeah, it's essential in experience, experiential learning that we also notice and see what, uh, what goes on with the group. Um, so, um, I would say go on and have a look at the websites and see whether this would be something for you. And, uh, we would be happy to see you in our session. Absolutely. And not just us, also my ducky. I've got a very caring and nosy ducky and yeah, you're bound to meet her during the workshop as well. I don't see how anybody could resist an invitation to, to meet Ducky. So uh, I would certainly encourage anyone attending to sign up for this session. And uh, I know, uh, Iris, that there will be lots more information uh, put out through uh, LVSA's uh, social media accounts over the, the course of the, the conference. So people yeah. can keep, keep an eye on that. Um, but for now, I just want to thank both of you for uh, taking the time to, to chat to me today about what sounds like a really fantastic, intriguing, entertaining and educational session that you have planned. Thank you, Colm. Yeah, it was lovely to meet you in virtuality, Colm. 